All right, you guys. It is the first day of the program, and day one is going to be uh, two sets of one pause squat, and then a three by six of squats after the pause squats. Then, um, so I'm probably I'm probably going to put uh, this next program I'm doing in the description, but. Uh, some of the bodybuilding things I'm gonna change up because like This program wasn't like specifically made for me. It's just like a, a program. So Always be sure to like make sure like if you are running a program like you might need to change some of the bodybuilding movements up if you want to work on like some of those weak point things or like uh, some uh, weak point like muscle groups, so I'm I'm not gonna be doing uh some of these things, but um, yeah, you guys will see what I do anyway in the video. But yeah, that's that's just like kind of like the the powerlifting part of it uh, is just going to be the pod squats and the squats, and then uh, you guys can tune in for the the exciting bodybuilding stuff. Jeez, that's not good. But yeah. <sighs> Normally I'd be wearing sweatpants just so I can, you know, have that extra support around the knees. But today we're going shorts because I'm hoping the legs will look good today. We'll see. I've been, I ate pretty good today. I had like some leftover like, ooh, that's blue. I had some like leftover Korean food and rice and cereal. So that doesn't sound good, but uh, if you saw the actual volume, it, it was uh, pretty decent. But yeah, leg day today. I need a haircut so bad. Jeez, but got this Gymshark shirt. Haven't been wearing much Gymshark, but I figured I found this shirt. I like the way it fits, so. Yeah, I got my squat shoes. I've got my energy drink. Now let's kill this leg workout. Deja vu. I just been in this place before. I'm not wearing a pump cover for like I don't know like nine times out of ten I'm wearing the pump cover and it's just it's funny to like now that I'm just pulling up in the t-shirt I'm like oh like I'm feeling like insecure and shit but still kind of big though but you know just not used to it <laughs> sorry that's awkward <laughs> So I've never really gone over like uh, how I warm up. So I don't do any like touching the toes or like static stretching or anything like that because that actually can uh, increase your chances of getting injured. So basically what I do is I do uh, dynamic stretches and I do three of them. And uh, basically, yeah, like uh, I'll, I'll show you like a brief overview of all three like real quick right now, but. trying to like swing my legs and just like so I'm really focusing on like activating the hips activating the glutes and activating like the yeah hip adductors like the, the inner thighs pretty much so then I'm I'm basically warm normally I would go on the bike for like one to two minutes uh, before I do my dynamics but yeah 
I've, ever since I've been doing this, like, I don't know, just the squatting doesn't feel as awkward and it feels good, but yeah. Those squats were a little difficult. I recorded two more sets. I didn't record my last set because you know what squatting looks like. But we're gonna be putting a lot of emphasis on one leg today. I'm uh, with two legs. So it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be like higher reps. Um, like really just trying to get the feel, not necessarily like going so crazy. But yeah, make sure. I see a lot of guys. So Fox do the rep. See how he's nice and deep and it's getting like a lot of stretch in the up in the, in the quad. I see a lot of guys doing like the go half rep. I see a lot of guys doing that. Which I mean, it, it does get a lot of emphasis in the quad, but you don't want to stress the knee joint too much. So it's it's important to get that also, range of motion and break down. Also 90. make sure on like each leg, both of your erectors are like pushed down in your back's full because one of my homies snapped this shit up. So for this single leg, I want you guys to um, uh, focus on getting like Depending on weight, what you're doing, so if you're doing the lower weight, try and stay on like the, the higher rep range, so like more near like 20 reps, like 15 to 20 reps. But if you, as long as you stay like anywhere from 8 to 20 reps, uh, that's that's kind of what me and Foster are looking for. But yeah, we, we're going pretty light today because we did quite quite a bit of heavy stuff. So right now we're just trying to uh, like slow down the reps and and, and uh, really try and keep it clean. But yeah. Tickets, but in the end it's all worth it. I like to live in my own world, 
Fuck regular life. Fuck a nine to five job. I'm told to enjoy every moment, every hour, every minute. That's what I do on Fridays and Saturdays. Why should I take life so seriously? I just want to do what I like to do. Be a far from reality. Cause I can't stand society. It's my own world. I just want to hear the music. I think the whole system fucking sucks Everybody's working their fucking ass off during the week Getting totally fucking stressed out So what's wrong and what's right? I live for the weekend I live for hard styles I live for hard style, baby Come on, let's go Damn it. I like the ISO or whatever. Alright, so you know you're at fucking so there's multiple EOSs around where I live, right? This is by far this used to be a gold's gym, so it's got all like the classic metal plates, but like the stigma around this place is like when you first start coming here, it's like oh like this is the dirty grungy like grungy like EOS, but like you you'll know you're here like when you walk outside, like it usually smells like like dank and like weed and shit. It just smells like straight. Yeah, like there's there's normally like a drug deal like going on yeah. like right over there. If you live anywhere near Food City, you gotta get the marinated boneless beef. This shit is definitely a key to like 25% of my gains. So I know it's really hard to find cream of rice, but. Uh, Food City always has it stacked on on lockdown. You can even get cream of wheat. I like cream of rice, but yeah, if you didn't know that, this is this is uh this is where I go to get it. big amount we got five pounds of uh, steak pretty much and so my post-workout meal is about to be or normally I'd make it in a rice cooker but I had some leftover rice from this cream place I went to so there's that and then I'll probably eat like half of this container of steak and then that's my post-workout meal. I'll show you guys when it's all like ready, but. The finished product. I do not have vegetables. I recommend eating vegetables, but uh, if you're just trying to, you know, get the protein and carbs in, this is what your plate might look like. But yeah. With a, mmm.